show you how to set up the uh, BizHawk emulator as well as the uh, auto tracker for Link to the Past randomizer. Um, so in order to do a randomizer, you're going to have to have a randomized uh, ROM. You can find out the instructions to do that on the uh, Link to the Past randomizer website. Uh, this is also the emulator that you would be using if you wanted to do crowd control. This is why I'm showing how to set up uh, BizHawk. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you need to download these uh, prerequisites um, for um, setting up BizHawk. Uh, to begin with, there's some um, uh, Visual C++ uh, updates that need to be uh, run. And then uh, once you run this, you'll be able to uh, run uh, BizHawk uh, as an executable when you uh, download it from here. I'll include all of these links. So let's open up uh, File Explorer uh, so that we can uh, take a look at uh, what this is going to look like when you get those. So uh, you'll have your uh, downloads folder. In your downloads folder, having downloaded the prerequisites, you're going to run this uh, executable here. Uh, just like you would uh, anything else when you download it. Um, this will run, and then uh, you'll be able to uh, to use the uh, BizHawk uh, executable that you downloaded in the other folder. Um, so we'll wait for this to finish. It'll finish slowly, uh, to much of everyone's uh, chagrin. Uh, and then uh, you'll be able to uh, run uh, BizHawk uh, out of the other one once you extract it. So um, here's what uh, BizHawk looks like uh, without uh, a ROM run. So what we need to do uh, now is we need to configure this so that it can be used with um, uh, EmoTracker. So EmoTracker provides an auto-tracking feature which makes it very easy to uh, to learn how to do the uh, randomizer because you don't have to remember a lot of stuff. It shows you uh, where those things are, but it needs to be uh, configured in a way that it's connected to your emulator. So in addition to downloading uh, BizHawk, you'll download uh, Emu Tracker. So um, I'm gonna set that up uh, really quickly as well. Um, so we'll have uh, these two programs right next to each other. Uh, and then uh, we'll talk about how we're going to connect them to one another. So having uh, Emo Tracker set up now, uh, and we can put this uh, right next to uh, this right here, we're gonna have to connect our um, BizHawk to uh, Emo Tracker to get the uh, auto tracking functionality. So the first thing that you're going to wanna do is you're gonna want to go to uh, config and then go down to cores and then uh, SNES. Make sure that this is on uh, BSNES. By default, it should be on uh, SNES 9X. You want to switch this to BSNES. Uh, then after you do that, you want to uh, go to Tools and then Lua Console. I'm oh, sorry, Tools, or sorry, Config, and then Customize, and then uh, Advanced. Make sure that Lua and Lua Interface is checked here. And then uh, you're going to uh, restart uh, your uh, emulator. So. Um, get a clean uh, BizHawk. It's actually called uh, EmuHawk when you're uh, going to search for it in the start menu. So uh, now that this is open, what we can do is we can uh, run the, uh, the script. So in order to, to run the script, what we want to do is we want to come over here and then go to uh, Lua. So what I'm doing is I'm right clicking on this robot, go to SNES, go to Lua. This will turn yellow. Uh, you can't see that because I'm in the way, but uh, I promise you that there's a little yellow robot here. And then um, what you can do is you can come over to uh, your BizHawk and then go to Tools and Lua Console. And we need to load the uh, the script here. So we go to uh, Open Script. And then uh, this is going to be under C, uh, Program Files x86, Emo Tracker. Uh, connectors, BizHawk, uh, connector.lua. So you're going to uh, open that up. Now that these two things are uh, connected to one another, uh, what you want to do is you want to load a, uh, a ROM. So I have one um, that I already downloaded here. Um, make sure that you don't close this window. It's very important to leave this, uh, this window here. It's annoying, but you can put it in the back. Um, and then uh, we're good to go. So we have our uh, emulator running with our uh, Links to the Past uh, randomizer ROM. And uh, just to show you how the uh, auto tracker works here, I'm going to uh, spawn in at my house. It's going to reset. 
And the first chest here is at uh, Link's house. That is this one right here. And so when I get this, it's going to uh, disappear. So we know that the uh, auto tracker is working. Um, when you get an item, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, run and get uh, the first uh, item here. Uh, fast forward to there. You'll see that um, it's going to uh, show that I've gotten that item. And it's also going to update the map to show you that uh, there are other places that you can go to if, uh, if, this if this item gives me progression. So I believe the hammer was over here. And then we got the hammer. So it updates the hammer. The uh, hammer doesn't give me progression yet, so it doesn't update the map. But as you're getting items, it'll update the map and it'll tell you where you can go. Okay, so that's it. Uh, best of luck uh, setting this up. And uh, if you want to uh, set up uh, crowd control, I also have a video for how to do that. It's a little bit old, so it might not be um, up to date, but uh, check that out. And do the like and subscribe thing if you want. I don't give a shit. Um, just want to help you guys uh, set this up. All right, see ya. Uh, I'm stuck. Stop.